Octopuses are some of the most unique and captivating animals in the ocean. You have probably heard about some of the amazing abilities of these mollusks. But what exactly is an octopus capable of? In this video, we will explore some of the incredible skills of the octopus and show how it uses them in its natural habitat. There are about 300 species of octopuses in total, and their sizes can vary from just a few centimeters to several meters depending on the species. For example, the smallest species of octopus can reach a size of only 2 centimeters and weigh only 1 gram. On the other hand, the giant Pacific octopus can often reach 4 meters in length and weigh more than 50 kilograms. We'll begin our review of the unique skills of the octopus with their ability to camouflage. They can change the color and texture of their skin to blend into their surroundings and avoid danger. They can also create false protrusions on their bodies to appear larger and more threatening to predators. It is no problem for an octopus to take on the shape of a flatfish or sea snake if necessary. This skill is achieved through the special skin of the octopus, which contains cells called chromatophores. In this episode, it is shown how a small shark did not notice the lurking octopus and paid for it with its life. With its tentacles, the mollusk wrapped around the toothy fish and didn't let go. If the shark is flipped or immobilized, it can lead to respiratory and circulatory problems, and ultimately death. In addition, the octopus has a beak that can not only bite through the shark's skin, but also break the tough shell of a crab. This fisherman, or rather crabber, threw a device for catching crabs with bait inside. The satisfied crustaceans hurry to get into the trap. But what is a trap for them is the best aid for the octopus to fill its belly. The mollusk easily penetrates the crab trap and has a feast. Now, he just needs to escape from the scene of the crime and not become prey himself. The seafood lover on the boat clearly had no luck, he only got the shells from the crabs. Octopuses don't just hunt on the ocean floor. Sometimes they rise to the surface and attack birds. And by the way, they're quite successful at it. However, it's not always an easy task to drag them back underwater due to the bird's large wing area. It's worth noting that during certain periods, when the mollusk needs to change bodies of water, they can even become terrestrial for a while. Typically, these are short trips of a few dozen meters. After all, their skin is not adapted to a dry environment. However, not all types of octopuses are capable of this. Another, and perhaps the main, quality is their intelligence. They have a highly developed nervous system and can learn, remember, and make decisions based on past experience. In experiments conducted by scientists, octopuses demonstrated the ability to remember the path to food, distinguish colors and shapes of objects, and solve complex puzzles. The third unique skill of octopuses is their flexibility and adaptability. They can change the shape of their body to better adapt to their environment. Their tentacles, each of which can have up to 300 suckers, are very flexible and can be used for capturing prey, movement, and protection against predators. In addition, octopuses can penetrate very narrow and hard-to-reach places. They are like liquid flowing from one place to another. The fourth unique quality of octopuses is their ability to regenerate. They can restore their tentacles, which may be lost, for example, in a predator attack. The regeneration process starts very quickly, and within a few weeks, the new tentacle is already functioning. But that's not all. Octopuses are also capable of regenerating their eyes and even some parts of their brain. This allows them to survive in dangerous conditions and quickly recover from injuries. Now is probably a good time to talk about the enemies of the octopus. First and foremost are predatory fish, large crabs, penguins, and even other octopuses. They are especially delicious to moray eels, which bite their tentacles. 
Another unique quality of the octopus is their ability to communicate. They can use various gestures, movements, and skin color to communicate with each other. They can also transmit information about their intentions and whereabouts to other octopuses. Of course, to control such a unique creature as an octopus, a unique brain is needed. And rest assured, that's exactly what it is. The octopus brain is a complex and highly organized organ that has more than 500 million neurons. That's more than most mammals, including dogs, cats, and even monkeys. Two-thirds of the brain is located in the tentacles, and the octopus can control them independently of each other. And in addition to this, there is also a central brain that is responsible for information processing, memory, vision, and other functions. In order for the brain to function properly, it needs to be supplied with blood, which, by the way, is blue in octopuses. In addition to this, octopuses have three hearts that help pump blood through their gills, where oxygen is exchanged for carbon dioxide. Handling an octopus, you should remember that all of them are poisonous to some extent, but only the blue-ringed octopus is dangerous to humans. Although it can easily fit in an adult's palm and weighs only 100 grams, the venom in it is enough to kill 30 people. To this day, no antidote to the bite of this mollusk has been found. By the way, the venom is not produced by the octopus itself, but by bacteria living in its salivary glands. The process of reproduction in octopuses is very interesting and at the same time sad. The mating process for octopuses typically lasts a few seconds, and sometimes up to a couple of minutes. About one and a half months after mating, the female will be ready to spawn. Before laying her eggs, the future mother stops eating completely. A spacious burrow, which is cleaned of debris beforehand, is selected for spawning. Up to 100,000 eggs will be laid over a two-week period. The female constantly sits on the eggs, cleans them, and guards them against enemies. Depending on the water temperature in the region, the incubation period can take from five months to two years. By the end of the incubation period, the little octopuses are fully formed, can move in their egg, change color. Almost immediately after the last eggs hatch, the extremely exhausted female dies from prolonged starvation. The male dies even earlier after mating. It can be said that their death is genetically programmed. So, octopuses only mate once in their lifetime. The lifespan of octopuses is usually three years, but sometimes they can live up to five years. I hope that this video has helped you learn more about the exciting life of octopuses. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already.